Oh, there you go. They said it couldn't be done. They said it wouldn't last. White man, black man, America F1. America F1 Dude, coming to you straight from San Francisco, California. Sherman Tillman, Michael Lawler. America F1. Mike's back. Mike's back, everybody. Mike's back. And before we welcome Mike back, we're just going to tell you, the audience, how much an idiot Mike is. We just did a whole hour show, Mm -hmm. and there's a big red button on the camera. It's big. It's red. It's You can't miss it. Even if you had some type of big, thick Coke glasses, you couldn't miss it. And what you do is you press it, and then numbers start flashing guess who did an hour show and somebody forgot to hit the record button just take a guess sherman take a guess no that would be incorrect it was you thailand boy i i don't take any responsibility this is not my show i am just the co- i am i am the most important person on this show except for the ceo here. unbelievable dude. i i it, it wasn't my fault 45 minutes of gold ruin because somebody can't press a red button it's it's unfathomable uh, it's it's unfathomable all i want to say is that, uh, sherman is having the early onset of dementia <laughs> what were we talking about <laughs> you did this six months ago, so it's like it's it all so bad. Them. Did I do that six months ago? Yeah, you did. We did the whole, remember we did the whole show. Oh my <laughs> god, did I really? No <laughs> way. Same thing. It's like, anyways, cheers. I'm back from Thailand. Oh, Mike's I can back hardly from wait to go back to Thailand. I want to retire there. Oh, it's the most awesome. beautiful place in the world, and it's cheap. I miss you, buddy. I. I I would drink with you, but I have a doctor's appointment later mm. on today, and I don't want him to think that. I'll drink you know. your drink then. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, you can drink my drink. So, before we get started into our show, we're gonna remember. We're gonna, are, are you sure? To, are you sure we're like rolling this time? We. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I know how to press a red button. I'll tell you that. Uh, no, obviously, easy. obviously, all you, you gotta do is the go. Fir- the first. I mean, you. Bink. You're supposed to be the producer and the CEO of the show and the director. Um, and, directing i'm editing i'm producing i'm doing everything yeah and i yeah. do i you do just the, come I, up i, I do the most drunk important and, part you know <laughs> i'm the you, most you assault me mm-hmm. basically yeah. basically yeah. yeah like comment subscribe to our channel tell your friends today we're wearing our america f1 merch we're gonna be wearing our merch all the here's, time from uh, now on and sherman sweatshirt sherman has an announcement about our See? new studio sweatshirt um, the back looks tell, like. Tell them about the new studio. The yeah, I got I got one of those. I'm not. Doing All right, that. that's what the back looks like. And, and then he has the front of the t-shirt, and it has like that. And then on the back is a big another one of these. And then on the sleeve, it's a QR code for. Will you will you tell you know, the announcement QR. of our new? And then when here's our new neon sign right there. America F1 neon sign. And this is all going to go into the studio once my wife completes it. And I'm very excited that she's finally getting it started. Basically, we're just turning a bedroom into a studio. So you're basically saying sometime in 2024. (laughs) When Lewis Hamilton goes to Ferrari, (laughs) the studio will be ready by then. (laughs) Sometime in 20. Because supposedly she was supposed to do this last year. She was. And, but whatever. (sighs) But if Uncle Mike goes over there, we'll accelerate the program. Yeah. If you could quit drinking, that maybe. So when you were in Thailand... Uh huh. Did you have a Mai Tai? I never had a Mai Tai. Doom doom. doom. I had I'm a, always want to say that. I had joke. a maple, but I never had a Mai Tai. <laughs> <laughs> I always want to say that. So, <laughs> what'd you say? What'd you just say? I thought her name was Mai Tai. Oh my God. And her name turned out to be Maple. Okay, so. tell me that. Tell me this. Tell me this before okay. we get into this okay, Formula okay, One what? stuff. Tell me the story. What, the soap the, massage? The, the, the story where you can't remember somebody's name and you call them Mai Tai. I thought her name was Mai Pang <laughs> and it was Maple, so... <laughs> There's a language barrier over there. They sort of speak English, but not really. 
You met a Thai woman named Maple. That's her stage Maple. name. Maple. <laughs> That's her stage name. It's her soapy massage name. Oh my lord! Isn't that hilarious? It's not Porsche. It's not Mercedes. It's, it's Maple. Maple. <laughs> like, and she said like maple syrup, and I was like, oh my god, where am I at? Oh wow! She was rad though. Oh my god. Deliveries. Deliveries are out. Ferrari's livery just came no, out. No, they've had car <clears throat> launches. The only people out of livery is stupid McLaren, and their wait, car is going to look wait. just like a McLaren. When they show the livery, it's the color of the car. They don't show it driving. They have a big soiree. They have it covered, and they uncover it. That's a livery reveal. That's what we're talking about, Okay. No, no, no. They've had launches. Oh, These are the car launches. Okay. The only people who had a livery launch was McLaren. That's listen, it. Listen, listen, Williams. They had a car launch. McLaren. McLaren had a, a livery launch. Visa Cash App RB. That is a fucking uh, 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 a, a that, car launch. Steak kick car F1 launch. Sauber. Car launch. Aston Martin. Car launch. Haas. Car launch. Ferrari. Ferrari. Car launch. Best livery so far. What a beautiful car. But it's like, it looks like the Red Bull. But it was so But it looks like the it looks the like the color. Red Bull. It's like every car is gonna look like the goddamn Red Bull. The way year. I know it you know it's gonna be Ferrari red, but it's a little bit deeper red than no, last no, no, year. It, no, it's 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 lighter. It's, it's more, lighter than last year. It, last year is more like the old school I was red. It's, it. it looks more like the uh the Marlboro when the when they Painted the cars, and when Schumacher went there, the mm-hmm. cars were almost pink in a, in a red. Because okay. before then, the cars were like a burgundy Ferrari red, but mm-hmm. Marlboro wanted the car to be that color. And they were giving them like $300 million a year or something. To me, whatever. out of all the car launches, but livery reveals, I'm going to say, I'm going to rank it. Oh, God, here we go. Ferrari? Ooh, number one. Well, okay, okay. It's, it's between them and Aston Martin. Aston. So far, so far, Ferrari. Then for me, it's Cash App. V, wait, Visa Cash App Stake. Wait, Visa Cash App RB. They're number two. Then I know, I know, I'm, I know, I know it. I know people aren't going to agree with me. I know it. I know it. I know it. We're the underground. We don't want people to agree with us. But I like the stake. Kick, Sauber F1, Neon Hulk Green. I like that. I like that car. I it wish stands the, out. I, I wish know the I could car see it at was night. just green. Wouldn't yeah. it be better? But I know I could see it at night. I know on the track that that's going to be that. I mean, it's going to be at the back of the pack, but it's yeah. like. Then I like Aston Martin because I love British racing green. Then I'm going to go with Williams, I guess. Nah, it's no? a horrible, horrible okay. car. Am I go with Haas? No. Hmm. Haas was pretty good, actually. Yeah, I, 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 don't, like I don't. I don't. I don't. I hate. I like how the the Haas was bigger on the side pods. And okay. Up. That was pretty good. But the, all the cars look like the Red Bull. That's my. And then McLaren's looks the same kind as last year. They just moved the colors yeah, around yeah, a little yeah, bit. I didn't really like, like that like, one. I, I think that was the, the worst one. The so one far. year they came out and it was all papaya. Yes. That was pretty. It was like 2017. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking. And then ever since then, they've just been like adding other colors to it. I mean, they even, uh, I the, even like the chrome. The worst, the worst car is is the Alpine. I mean, pick a color, please. Jesus Christ! Either it's gonna if if, if you're gonna have mm-hmm. the BWT, just be pink. Be yeah. a pink car. Yeah, be pink. Or go to the back to the Alpine colors the first year mm-hmm. where it was red, white, and blue, which yeah, was dope. I like that. That was great. So, I think that liveries need to be bolder they need to be painted the cars need to be painted there needs to be a rule all the cars have to be painted it's ridiculous i'm seeing all of this carbon fiber i don't like it i don't like it i don't like it remember we only have two more car launches now what do we got left red bull mercedes and mm, all mclaren mclaren already launched a car. no they didn't launch the car yet they just launched the livery it was a, it was it, i don't know why they did it that way but on all the cars, the, car was look, ugly. the cars will look different when they go to the first, the only test. Right. Three days. But what's up with all this carbon fiber, Mike? Okay, supposedly they do this crap because the cars are, are uh, and even though they gave them 100 kilos more or something, they, 
it's because it's it's a weight loss thing, and it's so so stupid. The cars who, look horrible. Who won the world championship last year, Mike? Um, the Haas team. No, who who won? Who won, Mike? Come on. The, the come on the, the sovereign team. Come on, the stake sovereign team. No, the the Visa uh, mm, mm, uh, Cash App no. Red Bull Ferrari team. No, who who won? You know who won? I don't Red know. Bull. Who? Red Bull. Red Bull got a Formula One team. Yeah, and guess what? They paint their cars too. So that throws all that BS about we gotta save, we gotta save. Okay, we gotta I re- save. Wait, we gotta save. We can't paint the car. I but read. Then, I read something. Red on Bull the- paints their car. Number one. No, no, Ferrari no, no. paints their car. Number three. McLaren. No, Aston it, Martin. Well, all, Aston, Aston Martin paints their car. Okay. It's British racing. Not always. Race. Look at look, there's yeah, there's there's see. a lot of black. There's on a lot that of car. black there. Yeah, Anyways, I read right something there. on the internet that the Red Bull have some sort of special paint that's half the weight, and then all the other teams when they when it land when they, they have any kind of contact with the Red. I Bull, read that too. I didn't believe that. I, don't believe I didn't believe that. I thought that was BS. Give me a break. Oh, you got a special paint that nobody else can figure out. In Formula One, give me a break. No, here's the here's the deal. It's sad that they're gonna have to make a rule that you're gonna have to paint your car in Formula One because guess what? The fans want to see liveries. They want to see colors. They want to be able to identify their team when it's going around track. It's already hard enough when the cars are going 200 miles an hour to see the damn car. If they're all painted black, how the hell are we gonna know which car is which? In the 90s, they had the greatest liveries. In the 80s, they were awesome. You knew your team's car. And not only that, it makes for better merchandise. I guess so, but like, if, if your car goes faster because you took the paint off the car, of course you're taking the paint off the car. And so, since some of these cars are all black, like... Especially the Mercedes. The Mercedes. Did, did they win there. the world championship last year? No, but they won it. In the Did black they card. win a race last year? No. So then there goes when Red Bull paints their car and Ferrari paints their car and Aston Martin paints their car. The weight savings is not really that big a deal, is well, it really? Look at it is this. it really? Yes and no. Anyways, you're the the thing about auto racing is you're looking for an edge. They think taking the paint off the car will help will give you the edge. And unfortunately the Red Bull have Bulls, to make a rule. Well, they're going to have to make a rule. This is nonsense. I mean, especially nonsense. the Ferrari should be a shiny red, not a matte red. It looks ridiculous. So, But it looked the best of all the cars today, or so far. Well, I still think the, uh, uh, the Aston Martin looks the best. I love the green. Well, you like British racing green. Well, I, I, I like the color. I like, the, I like red. I just I wish Ferrari it was a shiny red. It was, okay. But the car looks good. And where it says Ferrari. But is the car beautiful? Oh, it's a good looking car. But the Ferrari on the rear wing should be in, in, in yellow, not white. The Ferrari in yellow? Because well, a couple years ago they had the... the I like that. With the, with yes. The, yeah, and it was like, why are they painting it white when it could be yellow? I yes. mean, that's, that's just me. I like the yellow. I like the I like when you have the Ferrari yellow, in yellow. Yeah. And on the with, rear wing... In the letters, it, it's yellow. And then around the letter, it's in black. And then around that is all red. But it would That's be awesome. it would be cool also if Santander, who would, Santander, they're the one of the sponsors is that from oil? Ferrari. Is no, that it's a what is it? They're a Spanish company. Of okay, they they spon- they sponsor what, Alonso. They did, uh-huh. and they they made the wings on the Ferrari. Remember, they were white, and it okay. said Santander on the on the yeah. two wings. So it was a white wings and the red car. And Santander's on the car again. They mm-hmm. they were gone for a couple of years, but when they had them on the wings, it looked really cool. Like there were white wings yeah. with the red car. Yeah, yeah. But I wish they. I don't think they're giving as much money as they used to. So because they're just on the side pods now, uh, not the side pods, but they're on the body of the car. I think Shell is their biggest. Uh, Shell. Yeah, because I don't think they have the Philip Morris money anymore. Well, no, no team has the cigarette money. Un- well, no, they had. They had Philip Morris till about a couple years ago, but Philip Morris was supposed to... Well, they sp- banned cigarette uh, advertising. I know, but they still were sponsoring the... Ferrari. Under another name? No, they were. remember they were the Mission something or another? Oh, Mission... 
Ooh, what was it? it's not Mission Forty Four. Well, Mission Wyndham or something. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, it was like upside down and had it like. Yeah, like, but anyways, they, yeah. okay. There is no ban on cigarettes in Formula One. On the advertisement, though, there, there is. is no. There is no ban. It was like it was. It's not a rule. You can still put cigarette sponsors on the car. They're just not. The teams agreed not to do it. Oh, okay. that's so. All right. Anyways, because they, they used to, all the cars were sponsored by cigarette manufacturers until 2006, and they just agreed. So, Philip Morris was on the Ferrari mm-hmm. until like a year or two ago. So No. Yeah, the Mission Win- Winham. I think that's what it was called. That's That was a... That's a... Uh, that was a marble. Oh, okay. I didn't Anyways. know that. Anyways, should Gene Haas sell the Haas team to... Andretti. Oh, hell yeah. Because, okay, Michael Andretti and that team are building a Ferrari, not, I mean, they're building a Formula One factory in Indiana. Right. Okay. They have a, GM is backing, they're going to be a works team. They're not a, 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 this is insane that Formula One didn't, because the FIA agreed to have their team Mm -hmm. and like three or four people we're going to be, uh, you know, put forth, you know, they wanted to be in Formula One. They're the only ones that the FIA said, yeah, okay, they can, we're going to let have an 11th team. I, 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 this makes no sense. Well, I don't know. It's got to be some sort of politic nonsense. That- well, obviously, it's, it's Ferrari, it's Mercedes, and it's McLaren not wanting to split up. Well, the yeah, it's the money. It's, it's money. money. But I don't think the teams should be able to voice on who comes in. It should be the organization. Can you imagine the NBA saying, or 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 soccer, or NFL saying, we're going to announce a new team, and it's going to go in this city, and then the other team's going, no, no, we don't want another team, because uh, <laughs> well, that, yeah, that's going to okay. cut up the money from us, the uh, other, TV the, money. The, the teams didn't make that decision. Liberty made that decision. They owned Formula One, and they decided not to have an 11th team. So. And Liberty is a what type of company? They're an insurance company. And they're an American. It's yes, Liberty sir. Media. No, but Li- Liberty Media is, is the Formula One And company. that is an American company. And here they are discriminating and not wanting another American product in a place where they have three races and they want a fourth race in Chicago. It's nonsense. It's idiocy. And it's almost like, and watch me do this comparison. All right. It's like Mercedes not knowing what they had in Hamilton and letting him go to Ferrari. It's taking things for granted. If you want to expand the American market and you want to have Chicago, they already have expanded the American market. The stupid they're going to do another race in Chicago. So that's four they're not doing race. a race in Chicago. It's just all nonsense. They should do a race in Frisco, baby. In Golden, it's Gate not nonsense Park. because they already got the name for right. Chicago. But the stupid, Chicago F one, Chicago Formula uh, One, Formula NASCAR One, Chicago F one, Chicago. Chicago. So. They are already talking about it. They want to have 30 races, Mike. 30 races! That's an, that's never going to happen. That's what they want. That's way too many. 24 now this year is already, I think, the max. You should well, be going. Remember, 16 races were the... the 30 was, races? They had 16 races forever. It was like... there the, when, the, when Formula One was at its best, there was a race every other week mm-hmm. for the... And you had the summer break. For 32 weeks out of the year. And it was like, it was perfect. And like it was that. like, this, now nah, they want to have 30. They're not going to have 30, 30 races. 30 races. Can you imagine 30 races? No, it's too many. 24 might be on the cusp of too many, to be honest. I mean, 22 sounds good. 24 may be a little too much. They're, go- they're giving the engine allocation. It's going up from three to four this year, which is good. So you have four units, you know, to, to play with. But 24 races may be, I think, at the limit. 30, I think, is too much. But no. not only are going to add Chicago, they're going to add Madrid. That's already two more races. No, but I, they're, they're not going to have... They can't. 
Madrid's going to be a street race. They're already adding it. It's already they, but they coming. got a racetrack in Madrid. Why would they go to do a street? It's going to be a street race. That's what they said. They got Catalonia. Now they're going to do a street track in Madrid. <laughs> That's the well, they did that stupid race in Valencia for like four or five years, which was like in a it'd be like doing it in Oakland at the uh shipping container. Uh, <laughs> that's what it was, <laughs> it was like ridiculous. They're gonna add another race in Madrid, and you know, mm-hmm. what one thing I like about well, street tracks are total hit or miss, you know, oh, you miss every time. What are you talking? It's like the only race, the only street race there should be a year in Formula One is Monaco because Monaco is Monaco and it's just an iconic race. And Baku's good. I like Baku. Nah. Actually, Vegas was a good race this year. Singapore obviously finished off strong with the, you know, Carlos Sainz winning when those last like four or five laps that were really the best part of Formula One last year. Other, you know, because Max. Well, the everything. thing that sucks about Singapore is they have a track in Malaysia mm-hmm. that they stopped going to. Which yeah. is a great track. Which is a great track. So, I, I'm not a street. I'm not, I've never been a street fan. That's what I. It's why easy I, though. That's why I hate IndyCar now because they, oh, they have so many, many goddamn tracks. stupid street tracks. Well, the good thing about a street track is it's really easy to get to. Like you can get out of your hotel, you can have breakfast, you can have lunch, and you just walk to the track. You yeah. Don't have to take a train. You don't have to take a bus. It doesn't have to be this one way street that takes you two hours to get to and four hours to get out of. You know. So I like that part. Can you stop? I know you just, you have jet lag, but when you keep (laughs) yawning, it looks horrible on camera. You know, it looks horrible. Well, I met a guy from, um, (laughs) from spa. Who you thought was a gal. We could have, we could have, we could have gone and and I lost this. My, my phone deleted all the phone numbers. Why would it do that? I have no idea. We don't, we don't know. You can't even press the freaking record button. So I guess I can see how it happened. Anyways, um, we could have went and stayed in spa, like right next to the track, and gone to that race. Because you had somebody's number that lived I had in the his spot. number. He he invited me. He's like, you should come to the race. Yeah, and let's go. I can't. I lost his number. Yeah, you're an idiot. So the reason why I believe that Mercedes Benz AMG Formula One team. Drop the ball with Lewis Hamilton. Oh, their team's done now. Is they it? took him for granted, Mike. They, didn't take they Lewis. took Lewis for granted, Mike. They didn't give him. Listen, listen. They didn't keep Valtteri like he wanted. That's number one. Number two, they didn't listen to him on the direction of the car. That's not, very important. Not if, just if, one if, year, Mike. If that's, two years in if a row. That's true. Because remember, they got rid of James Allison. James Allison wasn't the technical director anymore they hired another guy to do that mm-hmm. and he made these let these last two cars that did not work no should have fired um and then they brought james allison back and then the second they brought him back he brought all those new uh stuff to the car which i mean i knew when they, new stuff you mean they put side pods on the car remember when i kept talking yeah about, you kept saying get rid of the side pods they wouldn't get rid of them they're going to put side pods on the car then they did yeah it didn't do anything to the car because you can't there you can't do that. If the car was designed a different way with no side pods. With no side pods, mm-hmm. and then you can't just put side pods on and the side pods look nothing like the Red Bull side pods. Yeah. Because when the when the Mercedes comes out, it's gonna look just like Well, all the cars are looking like the Red Bull car. But here's the thing. So let me get back to all the things that Mercedes dropped the ball on. And then you can yell at me and comment. All right. Okay, so they didn't re-sign Valtteri like Lewis wanted. Yeah. They didn't go in the right direction with the car, not just one year, but two years in a row like uh-huh. Lewis wanted. Lewis wanted a two-in-one contract. They gave him a one-in-one contract. Well, they gave him a two-year contract. A one-in-one. But- one. one year here, one year we both have outs. You have an out and I have an out. But all these contracts... He wanted two years without that. All these in contracts one. are like the same. They're like... There's always an out in these contracts. There is no contract in Formula One. You are on a one-year deal, period. There is no multiple-year contract because there's going to be a, a a stipulation in the contract yeah. somewhere where they can like, oh, I'm going to go drive for Ferrari. So not only that, he wanted to be an ambassador for the brand, meaning that after his career was over with Mercedes, he wanted to be a brand ambassador for life. 
I don't not, even know what the hell that is. What? That means you get to go to the parties, you get to go to the Mercedes car show and talk about Mercedes, meet with all the high value clients and talk about and design, help design cars like the AMG one, you know, and you get to basically get a check for the rest of your life for representing the brand of Mercedes Benz around the world. He doesn't need a check. I'm just tell I'm just telling you what he wanted. I don't care what you think he he needs. I'm telling you what Sir Lewis Hamilton thinks he needs. Okay? Okay? Sir? All right. He is a sir. He was knighted. Oh, that's right. Did he get hit in the head oh, with his sword God. and everything? You no, know, he didn't get hit in the head. He didn't do it on the shoulder. It's the shoulder? Yeah. Dab, 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 go dab, 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 like this. Was it the queen or no, was it, it Charles? Was, it was the queen, but I think in his case it was Charles. But Charles is going to die. Well, Charles is the king right now. I know, he's, he's got cancer. Yeah, but we don't know what kind of cancer he has. Yeah, he's got like. prostate cancer. Well, they might take the prostate out and he'll live longer. We don't know. Anyways. Anyway. <laughs> so, okay. So, I was saying... He wanted the two two and one contract. He didn't get that. He wanted to be an ambassador. He didn't get that. He also didn't like when they brought George Russell onto the team because he thought he's leading the team with Valtteri. Bringing him on too early. I got a lot of years left. What are you bringing this joker in for? Okay? And he's just going to cause more problems just like one Nico Eric Rosberg did. And who? Nico Eric Rosberg. Who's that? Nico Rosberg, you know, world champion of 2016 Formula oh, that, One. That Nico, never mind. Oh, okay. Okay, I have a prediction to make Go ahead. About, about Mercedes. There's two drivers that are going to end up in that ride. And then let me finish before you even go. And then Luke Serra, who was an engineer at Mercedes Benz, he was Ooh. in charge of vehicle uh, development. He went to Ferrari. And he had the same mindset of Lewis Hamilton on that they should go on this direction. He was in agreement with Lewis. So he went to Ferrari. So that also, so all these things make you think if you're a seven-time world champion, you won six champions, champion uh, individual championships with Mercedes and seven constructor championships with Mercedes. It makes you think that, well, I'm kind of unwanted. They're taking me for granted. I ask for all these things, and I've proven my worth, and they said no to all of it. Ferrari last year, we talked about it last summer, offered him $40 million to come to Ferrari. We both said that he should go. But we thought, both thought, said he should go. I thought go. he was getting $50 million a year from Mercedes. Yeah, but now, guess how much he's getting? How much? $100 million a year all right. with Ferrari. 80 million in Kayashola and 20 million in incentives, and then money to his, you know, uh, Ham 44 initiative, you know. So the whole deal is reportedly $450 million. Sounds about right. And they made that all that same day they had made the announcement because the stock went up. Some people are like, oh, well, the stock went up because, you know, they, they had a good quarter, blah, blah. Yeah, that was only a percentage of it. It had been announced. The bell hadn't closed on the day in the New York Stock Exchange. Okay. And that other 5%, because it went up like 9 or 10% that day, that other 5% was all one Lewis Hamilton. I mean, his dog, Roscoe, has Roscoe. a million followers. Mercedes Benz has already lost over 240,000 followers. And guess who gains all those followers? Ferrari. Of course. So they're being short-sighted. You're going to get less merch sold because all those fans that are Team LH, they're going to Ferrari. All the people who kind of like Ferrari but really didn't like Ferrari, they're going to like Ferrari. That guy's going to sell more merchandise. Wait till that new Lewis Hamilton sweatshirt comes out, that Lewis Hamilton hat comes out, that Lewis Hamilton so t-shirt loose. comes out. Man... He's going to look good in red. People are going to be going crazy. But uh, he's 40 years old, so it's... When 38. He, no, but when he goes to Ferrari, he's going to be 40. Okay? Be 39. Now, and be Fernando, 39. Fernando's 42 now. I don't... I, I think this is going to be Fernando's last year. I don't think so. Oh, I think so. I don't... He's not going to... He's, he's going to keep driving. No. Until he can't drive anymore, Mike. That's going to be at the end of this year. 
You're you're insane, Mike. No, I'm not. He's Did four. you see one Fernando Alonso in the car last year? Did he's, he not get multiple second and third places last year in an Aston Martin? He did all right. Did he not destroy his teammate? Yeah, but his teammate can't drive. But so did he destroy him? I would destroy Lance Stroll. You, I don't know about you, but I would definitely be faster than Lance Stroll. Listen to me. Fernando is still one of the top drivers on the grid. Yeah, okay. And he's a two-time world champion. From 20 years ago I don't ago care. Now. I don't care. He's fast. Give him a car. He'll win the championship. You don't think he could? No. Nah. Did you just tell? Did you just tell our audience that Fernando Alonso couldn't win a world championship if you gave him a good car? Well, oh. if he was in the Red Bull oh. and for stupid died or something. Oh man! But anyways, um, this is my prediction oh. for the for the Mercedes seat. I predict either oh. Vettel or Bottas will be back in that car. <laughs> And if Vettel gets in the car and the car is good, he'll want to. He'll want his. Fit. Vettel's not going to Mercedes. What are you talking about? He's a German driver. It's a oh. German manufacturer. He's going to fucking red. It's all over the internet. It's He's- not. <laughs> but anyways, listen. Sebastian listen, Vettel everybody, listen right now. Is not going to Mercedes. Uh, he's he's going to be confirmed next week. The, he's not. The Holy. first choice is Kimi Antonelli. Kimi Antonelli is it, not going to be in the Mercedes. That's next his first choice. F two, the Wonder Kid, the kid who they're all say could be like Max Verstappen. Okay, uh, in the K- second Kimi, semester, Kimi everybody go, else when he was in F three, he'll and, go to he'll go to Williams for a couple years. Then he'll go if to he Mercedes. He has a great season. If he's he wins going. the F2 championship by miles, no. you'll see one Kimi Antonelli in the Mercedes no. Benz AMG he's got two or three. Patronus he's 17 F1 years old. Team no. next year. Because then he'll be 18. How old was Max Verstappen when he first got into Formula One, Mike? And they're not. How old allowed, was he? They're not allowed. How to old do was that. he? He was 12. He was 17. <laughs> okay. All right. Antonelli wins the F2 championship by a mile. He'll be driving for Mercedes-Benz AMG Patronus F1 team in 2025. That's the first choice. No, he will not. That's the first choice. Second choice will be one Fernando Alonso. No. Because your guy was seen with Fernando Alonso's manager having lunch in Monaco. Vettel will be the next driver for the Mercedes team. That's my prediction. Well, you predictions are kind of like you know opinions. It's kind of like that's assholes. What, that's, Everybody that's has one. Exactly what it is. It's an opinion, and it's wrong. And when okay, what happens when Vettel becomes the driver? You're, you're never right. Like we have three bets. I'm always right. We have three right. bets, and I've won three bets in a row. Oh my! Didn't I say I'm all the win cars this next are gonna, bet? Didn't I say all the cars are going to look like the Red Bull this year? Well, who who didn't know that? What do you mean? Who didn't who, know? Who that? didn't know that every car is going to? Oh my God! Who okay, did, what's the what's no. the next on the hit parade? Oh. Here, where, where's your uh, bit? We're going to do. What's the bit? Uh, okay, so <laughs> we all know that Mercedes took Lewis Hamilton for granted, and he's leaving. He's not taken for granted. Now, what I believe he won six championships is there. that him and Carlos Sainz they should make the switch before the season starts. Carlos Sainz is going to the Audi team. They should make the switch before the season starts. They should have Carlos Sainz go to Mercedes, and then. Lewis Hamilton should go to Ferrari now. Why? Because I don't want to see George Russell on the radio winging and crying about Lewis not getting out of the way or that he's faster or all this and them trying to tell Lewis to get out of the way because you know what's going to happen? Lewis ain't getting out the way. This is last year, bro. He ain't telling me to do nothing. So they're going to bring all the updates to his George Russell's car to make Lewis Hamilton look bad. So that George Hamilton can beat him, even though he got trounced last year. George in the car. Hamilton? Is that George what? Russell? You said George Hamilton. Well, I'm I'm talking about Lewis Hamilton. I might Where have said the hell George Hamilton. George, Hamilton is- George Russell. You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. 
Well, apparently you don't know no what you're talking about. You don't you're even talking know. about Sebastian Vettel going in the car. You don't know what you're talking about. You didn't even know Kimi Antonelli was a Mercedes driver. You thought he was a Ferrari driver. Vettel's going to the Mercedes team in 2025. I, I, I bet the farm on it. I mean, I don't have a farm, but I bet it on it. <laughs> you don't have a farm. And if you did have a farm, there'd be no There's, crops on it. No, because you'd have to get up early in the morning <laughs> and till the soil. You'd never do that. Never. <laughs> never. Can you imagine you out there with like a hoe, like going, tilling the soil. Got to put these corn out all right, here. All right, all right. What's the next thing we got to do here? Christian Horner. Talk about it. What do you know? What do you know? What do you know? Okay. What'd you hear? What'd you hear? What'd you hear? One woman. That's what this is all about. Tell me what you heard. I. That's exactly what I heard. One woman. What did you hear about this woman? I didn't hear anything. All I heard was he said something inappropriate to one woman. And it's like, what the? He was mean to her. Oh, my God. It gets... He was mean to her, Mike. Where's oh, your feelings? What does that have to do with anything? Are you fucking kidding me? What? One woman? Yes. Did, did he do? Did he do something inappropriate in a sexual manner? I, I don't. There has been no reports of that. This, uh, if he gets fired for one woman, that's just that's too 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 crazy. It's like because because the more likely she lied. That, why? Why? Why would she lie? Because it's one woman. It's like not ten women. It's one. So if it's only one woman, that means that she's lying. Women have never lied before. Have men lied before? Everybody lies. Okay. So here on America F1, we and we're are, the underground, by the way. So we if you try not, to monetize us, no one pays us for this. We're not taking a stance on whether Christian Horner and is I'm guilty. Just, I'm just speculating. I'm not saying anything because we believe here at America F1 that everybody's innocent until proven guilty, and they got to prove them guilty. So prove them guilty. The shadow. But they got to prove of a doubt. They got to prove him guilty. Prove him guilty. One Bernie Eccleston is coming to say that let me help negotiate whatever's going on here. Let me get out of my retirement home, you know, my billion dollar retirement he's home. He's not retired. And come here and tell you guys how to run this thing. So he's the middleman, supposedly. Okay. And this is all, from what I hear, a power struggle behind the scenes. By your guy, Josh Verstappen, and... Helmut Marco. Helmut Marco. <laughs> Somehow, there was a falling out, and they're holding a grudge, and it goes all the way back to Monaco when Checo beached his car so he could get the pole, and they've never gotten over it. I would never... If he did that crap on purpose, yeah, you're never going to get over that. Of course he that. did it on purpose. But you're not going to ever get over that, so... Rosberg did it to Hamilton. I'm sure he did. Well, he did in 2016. He did do it. Oh, when he when he took him out at, at uh, Spain? No, no in, in Monaco where he beached his car so Lewis couldn't have a continuous lap to get pole. Oh, okay. You don't remember that? Uh, 2016? Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, how long ago was that now? Eight years Eight ago? Years ago? Yeah, yeah, I remember Seven that like ago? it was yesterday. <sighs> so, my thing is, it's been dragging on. First, they said it was going to come out by Friday, and nothing came out. And so, now they're grilled Christian Horner supposedly for eight hours. Eight straight. hours in a row. In a row. It's, it's, it's bathroom like, breaks, I guess, but... Not good. Not that's a, a long good time. Moment. That's a long time. Eight hours? So there has to be something there. Who knows? I don't know. You don't know. But I can almost see that Christian Horner's not going anywhere. Or he'd be gone already. If it was that egregious, whatever it is, he'd be gone, don't you think? No, because they, they did a... Uh but they have a barrister no, or something they, like they that? No, they did. They had like a, a outside somebody or somebody to do an investigation. Mm-hmm. And they they have it's a it's a process. It's like I don't know. I don't I don't know if 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 he did anything or if he didn't do anything because we don't know. But uh there's like a 50-50 chance he won't be there. So if he's gone and Ferrari's and Mercedes and other teams are taking all their engineers. 
this is like a blow up of a championship team. Like whatever you think about Christian Horner, and a lot of us don't lot a lot of people don't like him. They they think he's arrogant. They don't like how he used the thing where they were cheating, try to turn around, talk about his the employees' kids were being harassed at school even though they were cheating. Mm-hmm. You know, remember that? Uh if he's gone, the guy who's brought them two championships in a row, the guy who had well, no, they didn't win the constructors the first year. Mercedes won. Yeah, but they won the drivers. Team. Yeah, they won the drivers, but they didn't win the constructors. Please don't oh. eat on camera. Like at least turn. You can eat, but turn your microphone away so people don't hear you crunching chips. I mean, come on, man. Can you believe? Wait, 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 people. Can you believe this guy was about to eat potato chips on camera? I mean, the professionalism is gone. It's bad enough he's already having a drink, which, no, we're underground. We're the underground. We're underground. You can have a drink. We don't care about that. You can have a drink. Come on our show. Let's drink. I can drink, but I can't eat chips. Okay. But you're going to eat the chips on the microphone, man. At least turn the microphone over, eat some chips. Drinking, no problem. Oh, my God. Anyway, I'm dealing with a two year old. We dealt with Horner, right? What's the next thing? What? I am two years old. Maybe come, four. Maybe come on, Twan. It's like... All right. I, I just don't know if I can do this. <laughs> I don't know if I can do I, this. I think, I think we've done enough today. No, this is our second show. It's the second show about the same thing because you turn, you couldn't press the... I pressed the button. button, but it didn't work. You know what? Keep on racing, everybody. Oh, no. (laughs) We have to do the thing.